us in Kenya. First Lady Rachel Ruto has called on stakeholders to invest more on nature-based solutions in a, base to, in a bid to help address pressing environmental challenges facing the world. Speaking during a side event at the ongoing sixth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly here in Nairobi, the First Lady said investing in solutions such as renewable energy and sustainable agriculture and ecosystem restoration, among other strategies, is key in green jobs and biodiversity conservation among others, advantages on nature-based solutions, according to Gloria Milimu report. Speaking during the Science and Business Policy Forum, a side event held alongside the ongoing 6th United Nations Environment Assembly at the United Nations headquarters in Nairobi, the First Lady said successful implementation of nature-based solutions called for allocation and tracking of resources. The first lady who was speaking during the event that brings together leaders from more than 180 nations to deliberate on how to strengthen environmental multilateralism in order to address the triple planetary crisis of climate change, nature loss and pollution said there was need to also leverage the power of research and innovation and entrepreneurship as it is critical in driving a transformative change that is geared towards the attainment of environmental objectives. We need to pull resources together to finance nature-based solutions, implement our ambitious tree-growing strategy, foster sustainable development and drive positive change at scale. The First Lady also revealed that through her landscape and ecosystem restoration strategy launched Tuesday, she seeks to plant at least 500 million trees by 2032. Meanwhile, health experts have raised concern over the impact of chemicals on human and animal health, stating that exposure to these endocrine disruptive chemicals is set to increase over the next decades. Ms. Speaking during a side event at the UNEA 6, the experts warned that the impacts of these chemicals that people and animals come into contact with through the consumption of food and water, skin, and even via inhalation, disrupt the delicate balance of hormones and can result in various health implications. So you have di diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular problems, reproductive disorders, behavioral problems, certain cancers, and so on. Also, in pregnant women, they say some of these chemicals may transfer from mother to fetus across the placenta. Africa, we know, as has been said, we are net importers of pesticides. We don't produce them. And we need them. And many of these HHPs, as we call them, have